Rescue of Titan The Missing Submersible In the Titanic Expedition In this video we share this information pertaining to the rescue of the missing Titan submersible in the Atlantic Ocean The United States and Canadian Coast Guards continue the search for the tourist submarine that was lost Sunday in deep waters of the Atlantic Ocean while exploring the remains of the Titanic. With five people on board the small submarine called Titan lost contact with the Polar Prince its mothership on the surface is one hour and 45 minutes after beginning its planned two-hour descent to the seabed where the wreckage of the Atlantis Titanic rests the start of the expedition began in the port of East Jones, Canada and then sailed 740 kilometers south to where the wreckage is located. South to the place where the remains of the Titanic are located the crew consists of five people time is a lethal enemy against the crew according to the Coast Guard oxygen tanks have an estimated time of 40 hours of oxygen which indicates that the rescue groups would have time until Friday to achieve the rescue mission if the ship is located but still not easy to do so by the enormous depth at which they are with an atmospheric pressure 400 times higher than the surface as owed Sean Gate Titanic is a carbon fiber submersible and titanium. Weighing about 10,400 kilograms according to high sources, this submersible has total autonomy to ascend and descend, however the hatch of the submersible closes and opens from the bottom. However, the hatch of the submersible is closed and opened from the outside with 17 bolts so there is no other exit and it makes a possible self-rescue of the crew even more difficult. Sean Gayton's Peditions, based in Everett, Washington, was founded in 2009 by aerospace engineer Stackenroos, who is also aboard the sub according to a source with knowledge of the mission plan the Coast Guard says the operation to find the sub is still 100% a search and rescue mission the Coast Guard and other agencies collaborating in the search for the missing sub are still conducting a search and rescue mission even as oxygen decreases aboard the vessel. This is a 100% search and rescue mission we are right in the middle of a search and rescue operation and we will continue to put every available asset we have into the efforts to find the Titan and its occupants, said Captain James Frederick, 1st District Response Coordinator for the Coast Guard during a press conference Wednesday. Captain James Frederick Coast Guard 1st District Response Coordinator said during a news conference Wednesday that the vessel's seabed object detection system is joining the search, the Coast Guard says. The U.S. Coast Guard announced Wednesday that a Canadian aircraft on patrol in the Atlantic has picked up new underwater noises during operations to try to find the missing vessel. The U.S. Coast Guard announced Wednesday that a Canadian aircraft patrolling in the Atlantic has picked up new noises in the area of the missing submarine. The U.S. Coast Guard has admitted that the origin of the noise ebb detected during operations to try to locate the Titan submersible in Atlantic waters is unknown at this time. In the Atlantic waters, although it has stated that at least now these possible signals are a target to be pursued in the race against the clock. To try to locate and rescue alive the five people who went missing on an expedition to the wreck of the Titanic we must remain optimistic we have to remain optimistic and hopeful when we are in a search and rescue case said Jamie Frederick we are in the middle of a search and rescue case sometimes we do not find what we are looking for and we have to carefully consider all the factors.